it's Paul from Heine UK. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the wheel uh, from my VW Transporter T5 van and put the new one. Now we've got the winter wheels on and I would like to change it for summer wheels. That's the tools I'm going to use. Um, yeah, you can lift your car using a trolley jack, scissor jack, bottle jack, uh, but for me the easiest way to do it is uh, using trolley jack. So let's get started. Yeah, safety first. So please remember to put the gear on the first or if automatic on the park and put the handbrake on. Yeah, next step is um, remember to uh, secure your back wheel. We're going to lift front wheel first. So we're going to secure rear wheels. Uh, you can use chocks or if you don't have it, a uh, piece of wood will do the job. Yeah, we found that one of the bolts was really tight. It's quite common when garages use uh, impact wrench. So we've got a little helper to extend uh, our L wrench. And you see, it goes easy now. Push that down. Yeah, so all bolts are now loose. So now we can start leaving. Okay. Now we're gonna leave the car. Um, we need to start uh, start with find the jacking point, which for this VW Transporter is here. We've got a special adapter for uh, trolley jack, so that will protect um, jacking point or any damage. Yeah, take your time to put the adapter onto jacking point to not damage your vehicle. So now we can see the adapter sits properly on the jacking points and we can start lifting the vehicle. Your wheel is an inch above the ground, um, it's ready to remove the, the wheel. Now we're gonna put extra security, which is axle jack stand. We're gonna find the suspension part where to put it. Please do not go under the vehicle once it's only on the on the on the jack. Okay, we found the suspension part. We can put the axle jack stand on. Now it's um, fully up. And I need to put the extra security bolt on it. Okay. Now we're gonna lower down the trolley jack so the car is sitting on the axle jack stand. So I'm gonna put the bar over here and unscrew it. So anti clockwise, very gently. Yep. And now I'm gonna pump once. So we're going to have double protection, trolley jack and axle jack stand. Yeah, now before we start to take the wheel off, we need to shake the car and make sure it sits properly on the axle jack stand. Don't do it gently, just give it a good push. It's for your safety. Now I'm going to use a cross wrench. It's much easier to remove a loose bolt from the uh, wheel than um, L wrench. All you need to do is just put it and you can just spin it. Yeah, so 
knob. Second one, that's the locking bolt. Please keep that, that key safe. It's might cause you uh, lots of trouble losing the key. Now I'm gonna remove the wheel. Should go straight from the car. So yeah, that gives you access to work with brakes, suspension, and yeah, as you know, we're gonna just put the some new ties. wheels got the cover covering the bolts and that's standard for VW and Audi. I'm gonna use small Allen key. There's this little hole over here. So we're gonna put that in and we're gonna pull the cap off. Sometimes it sit quite well. Okay, we got it. Oh. Yeah, so now we can start putting the Wheel on. Okay, first wheel goes on. Uh, little tip if you have five uh, balls or nuts, it's uh, good to put the one on the top on um, 12 so it will be easier to locate it when you try to put the bolts. Okay, I've got the first hole straight up as we set up that before, and now. I'm gonna put the wheel on. Make sure the I'm gonna yeah it's in. Put the socket. Check if bolt go smoothly. Yeah, now it's alright. We're gonna tie the first one and we're gonna go across. That's the five bolt. So we're gonna do the star pattern, which goes this bolt, then across, across, and here. If you have a four, just do it just right across. So first, it's done. Yeah, second one here. Third one. So we still go pull the pattern across. Now locking nut. Yeah, now we're gonna use a cross wrench to tie the, all the nuts. We're gonna use the same pattern. We have to do it before we put the vehicle down. That's because uh, we wanna make sure the wheel um, sits correctly. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, we can tie it now. Put it on. Okay, down. Okay, now we're ready to take the axle jack stand out. So we need to jack up a bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna take the security ball. Yeah, now we're gonna gently lower down the car, turning this bolt anti-clockwise. Now we can start tanking the bolts.
yep. to tie the balls properly we're going to use top wrench that 90 millimeter socket plus a little extension to not damage uh, arch over here so now i'm going to set up correct force so we're going to open that that's Heina top wrench it's really easy to set up i just need to go to 150 yeah go on that push the button is ready to go extension on and again we're gonna start from the top I'm gonna wait for a click this one is done now we go across Now it's recommended to do it all around again. That's because when you push um, bolts uh, across, it might this one might need tightening again. So let's check it. This one is okay. They're pretty tight. So far. All done. Yeah, the last bit is uh, putting the cover on. Really straightforward. Job done. Thank you for watching.